Folks, welcome back to Bummer Barbecue and Southern Cooking. Oh, damn, looks like I got a bunch of meat here to cook. It's Wednesday evening. Graduation is Saturday. And my wife's oven's going off. I hope she's not burning my meat here. Burning you burning my meat? Okay. But I'm cooking dinner Friday night. Mall's daughter's coming into town. She told me she wanted some ribs. Even though she's worked at Sonny's. So I had to make sure I had some ribs here. Tonight, we're just letting them get ready. Sit in the refrigerator. Tomorrow, we're going to prep them. Get them rubbed down, and then Friday we gonna start cooking them. So this is gonna be a couple day cook. Oh, let's see how much was this meat today? Oh shit, I got a 5.4.51 pounds. Damn, my wife got some big ones today, guys. That's why she picked me out, because I'm a big one. Hoop, sorry about that. She's going to yell at me. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon when we get to start to prepare these. Welcome back. It's the next day. So last night I had four rack spare ribs. Let them thaw out. Well, a couple of them were already kind of thawed out, but... Let them go. It's been a while since I did any ribs, but we're going to see if we can do these a little St. Louis cut. Like I said, it's graduation weekend. My oldest daughter is going to be here. She wants some ribs, even though she works at Sonny's, or she did work at Sonny's. She wants daddy's ribs. So let's see what we can do to these things. Got my two knives. I got a good one. They're both of them good, but I'm gonna get up. Oh, I'm gonna have to use that one. I'm just mainly cutting through cartilage, not bone, but I got my straight line there. I'm going to turn them a little bit now and hopefully and I'm not going to get rid of this. Some of it I might. It's still got some good meat on there. We might cook that up a little bit. Put that over there. I'm going to trim the end over here. Find one of these bottles down here. Need to get me a bowl. There we go. It's looking pretty good. She ain't perfect. Been a while since I did it, but the next part, let's get this silver skin off of it. Let me grab a napkin here real quick. Open up my drawer here and get me a butter knife. Get up under that. Get it started. And it helps have a napkin here. Paper towel. It's gonna help you grab it. Oh, this one ain't wanting to play nice. Wrong knife. 
That's the worst part about doing ribs, getting this off of them. But you want to get the flavor in them. You need to get that off of them. Now, when you can leave it on, it'll still cook good. But man, that stuff is tough. I don't think it's something you really want to eat. Oh man, these ones got a rough skin on them. I usually get them off in one pull. some of this stuff hanging off of it here. I don't feel the one thing quite that bad. Some of, oh, it's fat or skin or uh, it's more skin. Alright. I ain't gonna show you me going through this with the other three. But that's about what you do. When I get the other three done, we'll be back. I'm going to coat them up, put some rub on them, let them sit in the fridge for the night. Coming home early from work tomorrow, fire the master build up, and we're going to start smoking. We'll be back here when I get these done, folks. Folks, got them all trimmed up. Man, the silver skin on these ones killed me tonight. They're not perfect. These ain't competition. These are for my family. So, just do the best I can. But, here's where, oh, hope I don't put it on backwards, huh, folks? That silver skin got me frustrated tonight. That stuff was a pain. Hmm. I'm just going to get one of the, show you when I'm doing one of these. And then I'm going to do the rest of them. You don't need to watch everything. Me doing every one of them. But, first thing I'm going to do is take some mustard. probably seen on those videos you're not going to taste some mustard folks get the sides done the best you can do first I got some of my all-purpose rub here that's basically salt let me shake that up better salt pepper garlic onion powder And some booty rub. I'll flip this thing over. Get this other side here done. Go. I like the rub I'm doing. Some booty rub. Rub your meat, folks. Something on there that's going to help hold that. I'm going to put some more all purpose on there. And that stuff's coming out fast, but oh well. Get the booty rub on here, and I'll probably put some more back on tomorrow. Do it 
backhanded. Woo! We're doing tricks. Alright. That's all I'm doing to them tonight. I'm going to get the other three done, put them in a tray, wrap them up, put a cover over them, I mean, put them in the fridge, and then we'll start getting ready to cook tomorrow. I'm done with them, folks. All coated. Ready to go sit in the fridge tonight. I'm going to put a little aluminum foil over those. Let them sit all night. Soak up all these spices. And be ready to start cooking tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see you tomorrow when I pull them out and I fire the master build up and we start getting these ready for my girls. See you then. All right, everybody. Sorry about the shaking here. I'm just trying to hold this in my hand. It's Friday. Turn the master build on. Set this temp up to 225. Set the temp. The time. Do that for six hours. You're gonna have to wait about 30 minutes for it to heat up. And it should only take about four to five hours. I'm gonna try the 221 method. To see how it works. I'm gonna let this heat up. Start smoking. We're gonna bring the ribs out. See you in a few. All right, folks. Master built up the temp. Had these sitting in the fridge all night. I've had them out here about an hour and a half, two hours, get a little warmer. Oh man, they smelling good. Time to go throw these on the old master belt 40 inch. Get ready to start doing some smoking. We'll see you at the smoker, folks. All right, everybody, Be back. Let's get these things on the master belt here. Oh, okay. <coughs> Ooh. Pretty good. Guess not. But got them on. Got some. Just put some water in the water pan tonight. Did any kind of juices or anything? Uh, mainly got apple wood. Got a few chunks of hickory in there too. But well, we can let these sit here and smoke for about two hours. We're gonna come back out here and wrap them up. Put them back in for another two. See you folks when it's time. All right, folks, welcome back. We're here. Had them on a smoker just a little over two hours. Who I'm cooking for standing over here. She ain't gonna be on video. Hi. Oh, see, <laughs> she said hi, folks. We got the parquet. We got the brown sugar. And we got the pure raw honey. Uh, this is a place up in uh, Holly Ridge, Cottageville, South Carolina. It's a bee farm. They make their own honey. This ain't done none of this store processed crap you buy with some real honey. I can't wait till I try that honey mustard I got in there out. Excuse me how to have a drink. We're going to take these, we're going to, oh, see there, they still hot. We'll put some parquet in the bottom here. We're going to put some brown sugar down in there. Nope, man, my fingers are getting dirty. Pour some honey. Oh man, I don't want to use too much of that honey. That that expensive at that place. Uh, let's see. I want to meat down, so we're gonna put the meat side down right there. Oh, and they getting tender too. Oh man, I ain't done these in a while, but they, oh man, I think it's gonna be good. Some more 
more honey. And yep, I'll give them their shout out. I follow Malcolm Reed. That's how I do it. He's, he's got some good videos. And TNT. Shout out TNT. Woo! Alright. Some more honey. get these wrapped up and I'm going to do this part. I smoked them bone side down. When I wrap them, I'm going to do it meat side down. Wrap these up. And I'm going to do the juices in there. Fold that over. Fold that over. There's the first one. Now do the other four. We're gonna put them back on the smoker Ooh, for another two hours. Then we're gonna put some sauce on them. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna to do tonight. I'm gonna to have to ask Julia here in a minute. Well, she wants some of my blues hog sauce or she wants some sunnies. I don't know, she works at sunny, so. And the blues is pretty good, so we'll figure it out in a few. All right. Got them all wrapped up. And take them out here and throw them on a smoker. Let me see if I can get my daughter to film me while I'm doing it. We'll see you out there. All right, folks. Out here at the smoker. Oh, we ain't gonna do no more smoke. I'm gonna put these ones at the top. We like gonna let these cook for another two hours. Gonna unwrap them. And my daughter tried my Blues Hog Saw Smoky Mountain flavor. She liked it. So that's what we're gonna coat them with just for Joey tonight. Turn them up on the end here. Them right down the end. There we go. There we go. We ain't gonna try that. They're hot, but. Oh, goodness. Oh, we got some curvy bones in them. Oh, we got a bunch of meat tonight. Anybody walks from this table tonight that Ain't full. Something's wrong with them. And I still got three more. Let's take some down to Kevin. Mm, let me throw them in the trash. Alright, folks. I'm going to do the other three here real quick. And then we'll get ready to start eating. Right, folks, welcome back. Um, I got two big old racks here. Let's see. I cooked it just for this one. Well, you you don't know how to bite. Get a clean bite. Yummy. Yeah, I'll see how they are. A little spicy, but we're good. A little spicy. Just put sauce on them. This was a sauce, but they're good. Yeah, there's no sauce on them. What's the spice then? It's my homemade rub. Mm. Watch the video. All right, folks. I'm for the real challenge. Graduation <laughs> weekend's ready to come to a close tomorrow. <laughs> for my seniors getting ready to graduate tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if we can eat all this or not, but we're gonna try. See you folks next time. We always test.